Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, we're going to be going over Tick Tick. And it's all coming up next. So here we are in Tick Tick, and I just wanted to give you all a brief um, overview of Tick Tick. I know I haven't done an episode in a little while, so I just kind of wanted to get back into the swing of things, get back into the flow of things, so to speak, and show you the new layout of Tick Tick here. Uh, so, as always, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these upcoming videos. So let's get right back to Tick Tick here. As you see, I have Tick Tick open up for the web, and this is on Windows PC. And some things have changed here in Tick Tick. So if you look over here, uh, you have tasks, right? And you used to have calendar in here, but for some reason, I guess they chose to move calendar to his own little tab. And it's right here, the calendar view. And as you all know, if you watch any of my other episodes, I like to use the calendar view for a majority of what I do inside of Tick Tick. Now, of course, you do have the task tab, and you have your inbox where you can dump, you know, do a brain dump of anything that comes in your head. Like say, you're thinking, well, what, what do I got to do today, or what do I got to do in a couple weeks, or maybe I just have an idea that I want to jot down, right? And so I just put down jot, because I'm jotting, right? No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, maybe you want to put down uh, eggs, or, oh yeah, and you're looking through your, and you're thinking, oh yeah, I need to buy some of this stuff, and you just write it all down, right? And put it in your inbox, and then of course you have your today view, which shows everything you got going on for today. Another cool thing, though, is when you go to the calendar view, you have this um, arrange task icon over here to the side. And if you all know, I like to have this up all the time because sometimes I have tasks that don't have any specific date or time to it that I have jotted down because I did a brain dump. And you're saying, well, it's probably in your inbox. Well, yeah, maybe so. But maybe I have taken uh, everything out of my inbox. Maybe I have did inbox zero, right? And I move things to wherever they need to go. Maybe I need to uh, put them in certain areas and I want to clear out my inbox, right? Well, clearing out my inbox, let me, uh, I'm just going to delete this one because I don't really need it. So clearing out my inbox, you know, gets it all nice and clear because, you know, but maybe I just didn't assign a day or time, you know, or a date or time to it. So if you look over here in the calendar view, um, over here is all the things that I got that I want to do, but I just haven't put a date or time to it, okay? Um, sort of like a, um, a tickler file, so to speak, if you follow um, other um, productivity experts, right? It's just something that's over there off to the side that I can, if I have enough time in my day to go ahead and accomplish those tasks, and maybe I... Maybe I'll, you know, as I go through my weekly review, I'll say, you know what? I think I have time to do this task during that time. Or maybe these are tasks that I just don't feel like doing at the moment. Maybe this is ideas that I've had, right? And I want to put them in a more cohesive um, way inside of Tick Tick, you know? Like, for instance, I have eggs and bacon, right? I just wrote that out. But actually, what I typically do is I write out what I want to do, and then I'll create a grocery list, and I'll put all of my stuff in the grocery list here, like that. And then I'll delete these out, right? Because I already got them in there. You see? And then there's other items here in my arranged tasks that if I want to go ahead and tackle now, let's say I want to go ahead and tackle now, I can just drag it over and drop it. And voila, it's done. And let's say I said, well, you know what? I just don't have time to do it. Well, instead of trying to figure out another time, just go to the date, hit clear, and it's right back over here in your arranged task area. Just that simple, guys. Really, uh, really simple, um, easy to do things. And you can arrange your tasks either by lists, you know, because you have your 
lists over here if you ever pay attention to what I'm doing uh, on my videos you'll know that I have lists set up depending on my certain aspects of my life right so you can uh, organize by lists or by tags and to be honest with you I don't really use tags much in tick tick um, everything I do typically can be handled without tags but uh, there are a few things I use tags on and then I can also select it by priority right but anyway so there is the tasks all your task stuff you can have here uh, and then you got your today view and of course your next seven days right then you got your calendar view to separate now and plus I don't know if you noticed but everything's a little bit cleaner now cleaner look to it uh, with this new layout uh, of course you got the week view and you get the month view uh, to be honest with you I mostly stay on the uh, day view then you also have a search bar where you can search for any task that you might um, wonder where do I have that at like a lot of times a routine I'll think have I done that routine lately even though I have said I shouldn't have to think about it but sometimes I might think what did I do with that uh, I wonder you know and you go and you type it in or trying to figure out oh yeah did, did I do my tags yet or whatever you know um, maybe you're um, just trying to find something in, in your search area so you just go ahead and type it in then of course you have your notification area down here then you have the three little dot things which you can go to your home go tick tick right you can also go to the help center yeah cool huh and let's see here you can go to feedback area and you can go to the view change log section right see if there's anything that you might need to know that uh, has been changed in tick tick okay and then like I say over here you have filters right here you can change this side area to just show your filters uh, you can also have arrange tasks and then you have your view options now in view options just so you all know when I, I think when you first start out tick tick it'll have show completed check mark I typically have that unchecked and show checked items as unchecked because the only thing I really want to see with my tasks is um, repeat items I want to see those uh, show up in my other days um, but I don't necessarily need to see my completed tasks they can go away I, it's just too much clutter right you know you have this you got all this stuff right there right look at all that stuff why do I need that cluttering it up it makes me feel anxious or uneasy right so it's best and then show uh, show checked items you can have that checked if you want to show that but typically I just want to have show all repeat cycle done all right and uh, so that's the uh, view options section and then of course you have three little things here where you can subscribe to a calendar or you can print whatever you see here right you hit print and seven years later it uh, will print your little calendar right if that's what you want to do so anyways uh, I know this is gonna be a short one guys but I just want to kind of go over a brief overview of the new uh, layout oh also by the way before I forget you do have uh, your little area up here where you see my picture and you got a sync a settings statistics and premium count I'll go into that at a later time um, the different uh, things within the settings feature but anyways, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And don't forget, hit that like button right down below if you like this video. And if you want to see more of these videos in the future, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week. And I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care.